Hey guys, what's going on? In this video today, we're going to be going over some Demon Hunter macros and macro basics. So some people are asking me for some macros on Havoc Demon Hunter for Arena PvP. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over them real quick. To be honest, there's not that many. Um, there's not that many in comparison to some of the other classes out there, like an Unholy Death Knight, um, a Resto Druid, so on and so forth, right? Um, Demon Hunters are pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and start with my first one. The first one here um, is for my darkness. And in this macro, it allows me to use... I cast dark, right? And it also yells darkness, right? Some people don't always see it. Uh, some people run out of it. Uh, whatever it may be. Assuming you're not playing with like this playing in discord right and you can't communicate verbally right um instead it's all in game this just notifies everyone saying hey like i press dark go stand in it if you need it i'm in it i'm okay uh it's it's just bringing awareness to your teammates right that's what darkness that's what the, this one is for um you might see it similar to uh, like burst, like burst. Uh, when people pop their like, let's say a paladin pops wings, fire mage pops combust. Um, sometimes you'll see DPS classes have one of these slash yells saying you're they're bursting or something. It's just similar. Um, it's another form of communication in case you're not in Discord or whatever with your teammate. So that's what that's for. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this one. Um, is disrupt it's for disrupt my focus target so what exactly does this mean and why do i have it so in arena or anywhere for that matter you have your you can have a target and you can also have a focus target right um, your main target is going to be right here on the right hand side of your character right and of course, your focus target is going to be like down here in the bottom, right? Or wherever it may be on your UI. Um, it's different for everyone just because of how we customize our UIs. Um, the point of the focus target macro is to save you, say, a tenth of a second or however long to target the other person and cast whatever spell or use whatever ability on that other person, right? Um, this is keeps you aware of what's going on. The point of the focus target is so that way you can keep an eye on the other enemy, right? Um, let's say I'm chasing a holy paladin and I'm attacking him and I notice the mage uh, next, like near me, is casting polymorph and I don't have my, uh, I don't have stun up or something, right? So I can't, or kick, or I want to stop the polymorph. But I'm in the middle of attacking the Holy Paladin. To make things quicker, instead of having to target the mage, un untarget the Holy Paladin, um, I can just see like his cast bar, like in my focus, right? I see that he's casting Polymorph, and I can kick him, right? Uh, I have Disrupt. I don't have to untarget the Holy Paladin, uh, because in this macro, I'm casting Disrupt, which is my kick. But in the macro itself, it says the target equals my focus. So that way I don't have to untarget my main target. So it just saves you some time. And it just makes your gameplay that much smoother. So that way you're not fumbling back and forth, trying to just target the person and so that you can use your ability. Um, this saves you a lot of time. And as you get the hang of it, it definitely increases your awareness. And when you have increased awareness in arena, that's when you can focus more on like, ah, like, like different tricks and stuff to try and like outsmart the other person or what have you. Right. So that it, it tilts the chance of winning in your favor. That's what focus macros do. Let's go on to the next one. For this one, again, it's the same thing. 
it's a focus macro. It's uh, for my fell eruption. Fell eruption, as you may know, um, it's the demon hunter's single target stun. So similar to like a paladin's hammer of justice or a, or a holy priest's uh, chastise, right? It's uh, in that category of stun. It's a single target stun. So similar situation. I'm targeting a holy paladin. I'm attacking the holy paladin. I have the ma his mage partner as my focus. I kick the holy paladin's uh, holy light, but I notice that the mage is casting polymorph, and I don't have my kick up yet. It's on cooldown, so I can stun the mage instead, so that way he doesn't get the polymorph off. Now, just like before. I can just press my key bind I have for fell eruption, for my focus fell eruption, to stop the mage. So that way I don't have to untarget the holy paladin. And it just makes my life easier. Um, you do have to have two separate key binds. I have one right here, which is shift C for me, um, for my main target fell eruption, and alt one for my uh, focus eruption some arena players have it they i mean you can set your keybinds whatever um that's just how i have mine set up um some people uh don't use focus macros some people use arena one two three right arena one two three in that case you'll have to have three separate kicks three separate stuns right the different keybinds for that each one and to me, that gets too confusing um, just because I guess because I'm not used to it. I have to see the enemy team, right? And you got the number one is on top, the middle is number two, and the bottom is number three. And to me, uh, since I'm so accustomed to f using my focus macros, it takes like an extra second or two for my brain to see that who's one, who am I targeting right now, or who's, who am I trying to interrupt? and to me, that's like too much. I just like to have a focus. I'm setting the focus. I know who it is when I have to interrupt them and all that. Um, that other one, it works. People like it. People don't like focuses. Um, some people just, they prefer that. It's just preference, really. Um, in my opinion, using focus macros is easier to get better at arena and the game in general rather than going for the one two the arena one two three macros um, nothing's wrong with the other ones you can criticize me for not using them but I mean I like the focus and I I do good I mean <laughs> I'm 2200 I'm not glad but I mean it works for me next one um, I got fell eruption cancel so what this one does it has two separate commands in it I have slash cancel aura Netherwalk slash cast fell eruption. So what exactly is this one? I've been in situations before where I'm about to die. I trinket, I netherwalk. My healer, let's say I'm playing with a resto druid. He puts all he pops all overgrowth on me. I have all the hots rolling. And say I have Mark of the Wild or something on me too, right? And I'll have a bunch of buffs up over here in my right hand corner, right? We're all You'll be able to see all the buffs that are on me. I don't have many right now. Um, these are just like, I mean, like everyone has these. But anyways, um, Nether Walk is cons these ability these things up here. Technically, they're called buffs, but they're also called like auras, like in the game, as far as like for coding and all that other stuff and scripts and whatever. Um, it's con they're called auras, and Nether Walk is of course like your bubble essentially right it's your immunity as demon hunter and say i'm running toward let's say i i pot i trinket nether walk and the healer tops me off so i'm chasing let's say the a rogue right i'm chasing a rogue this is an example that i've been a situation i've been in i'm chasing the rogue he's at say 20 percent health and i want to stun him before he gets a restealth now, when I'm in Nether Walk, the only things I can cast are like Shapeshift if I'm Night Fae, 
um, imprison, right, and reverse magic. Those are the only things I can do. So, I let's say I have three seconds left still on another walk. So I don't have to come over here and try and right click, right click on my nether walk, right? Because remember, I have all the druid hots and like marker the wild up and whatever else may else be up there, right? Um, it might take me like half a second, a second, however long, right? And what this line in the macro does, it just removes having to fumble around with the buffs and right click on one. The one specifically being nether walk. This just does it for you. So if I'm running another walk, I press I press Shift C, right? Cancels it, and I press Shift C again, which is in the span. This is really fast, right? And it stuns. It cancels. It removes another walk off of me. The buff, right? The aura, and then it casts Fell Eruption, and that saved me like so many times. I mean, chasing a rogue, chasing whomever. I'm in Netherwalk, I cancel it, I don't have to right click it, I just press it twice, right, and I get my stun off. And we I, we get the kill, right, we get the kill, because I'll do that when, like, it's, again, say they're, like, at 20%, or I'm trying to stop something, or, um, yeah, I mean, you can have cancel aura macros for anything. Uh, if you have, the command is forward slash cancel aura space, the name of the spell you want to remove. And I mean, you can remove combustion. Um, I mean, any any buff that's has like a timer ticking down, right? Um, you can remove it. But that's for Demon Hunter. I can go on that like another time. Focus Purge. Um, again, it's a focus macro. And why do I have a focus purge? Um, a main example would be say like a um, if I'm versing a whole a team with a holy paladin, right? Or um, say I'm attacking the warrior. Say it's a holy paladin warrior. I'm attacking the warrior. The warrior is my main target. And I have the holy paladin set as my focus. Right? And let's say he pops divine favor. And divine favor, what does that do? Well, it buffs his holy light. Right? It reduces its cast time and it increases its effectiveness. However, divine favor is purgeable. So... Again, without having to untarget and retarget, right? I can just press Shift F, which is my focus, which is my focus purge. It removes. Most likely, it's going to remove Divine Favor. It's rare that, unless you're in threes, right? Then you can have other buffs up there too. But in like a twos arena setting, um, it'll most likely remove the divine favor unless they have like bop or something and you just get unlucky and you don't get a double purge or something but that's like a technicality right um i have this specifically to purge divine favor um if they happen to be my focus and then i can kick them right because when they are using divine favor i can't kick them they're immune to kick so i can purge kick divine favor and the paladin gets locked out of his holy tree and i can even swap to him at that point stun him after like the lockout period's about to end and then i just go for it and that's what i do <laughs> like uh you can have many different focus macros um if you notice all these focus macros they all have the same format forward slash cast bracket target equals focus right and then like the name of the spell so here's the one for fell eruption and here's the one for purge right consume magic um it doesn't matter whatever focus your uh macro you're trying to make for whatever spell the format's going to be the same the only thing that's changing is the name of the ability i'll go ahead and pin a comment to this video showing like the raw format i'll use this one right um you can copy and paste it into into wow like when you're playing and just change the name of the all you have to change is the name of the spell leave everything else the same and just change the name of the spell and you're good um and you can change it to anything really for any of your classes um, this is just like the format for it
There's other formats too, but this one's like pretty cut and dry. It's like straight to the point. There's like some weird ones. I don't like the other ones. This is what I like and have been using for a long time. Next one. This one, um, I've made a mac. I've made a video on this one specifically. Um, it's for the hunt. I can uh, fake cast the hunt, right? First line slash cast the hunt. Second line slash stop casting. Uh, slash stop casting is used a lot for any cl any caster class, right? Any class that has to cast something, whether it's a mage, um, a warlock, a priest, right? Um, I can make a whole other video on that, on like the types of macros. But essentially what this does is, in order for this macro to work, you have to press it twice, right? The first time you press it, you're casting hunt. The second time you press it, you're canceling the hunt. It's like the same thing as pressing the escape key, right? To cancel a cast. It makes, quote, like fake casting, right? To get kicks out of the way from your enemy that much easier. Obviously, you can't get kicked on hunt, but if you're familiar with a Night Fae Demon Hunter, I mean, you can get defensive abilities and all the other stuff. That's why we have the stop casting macro for the hunt. Um, on to the next one. This one is just a focus hunt. It's, uh, I mean, lower brackets. I mean, even like in the higher brackets, sometimes uh, you can throw people off guard. Like uh, I have one of these for like my chaos bolts on my warlock and say you're going someone and you make it look like you're attack you're going to go full blown uh damage on them whoever your main target is and you change your mind for whatever reason right a defensive ability gets pushed someone pops some the circumstances change right so if you have a focus hunt right you can attack the other enemy instead and completely swap. So as long as your teammate knows that you're doing that, I mean, you can throw people off and you can end up killing the other enemy because you're throwing the throwing them off because it looks like you're going to go all your damage and everything. So they pop their defensive cooldowns and the other guys over there, like all his offensive abilities, no defense ready or he already popped his stuff and he's not expecting you to swap like that. So having that, because most of the time people are going to have you targeted, right? And they can see when you cast, but when you're casting whatever, right? Um, it's under the assumption that you're attacking whoever you're targeting, right? Whoever the enemy's targeting, but they can't see who your focus target is, right? Only you can the player. And obviously if you communicate with your teammates, you can tell him or her, right? And, uh, yeah, I mean, it throws people off. It was nuts. Like, I've thrown people off with the hunt. Even on my Warlock, like, with Chaos Bolts, I've thrown people off. Like, I'm going someone, and I see the other person in the left-hand side of the arena, like, doing whatever. I throw a Shadow Fury. I do whatever. I throw Chaos Bolts at them instead, and their teammates over there with all his defenses popped, and the other guy doesn't have anything. And the teammate with no defenses up ends up dying because they didn't expect me to do that. So... That's like a little bit higher level, right? I mean, that's assuming you got like all your awareness down and whatnot. Um, but that's why I got a focus hunt macro. And you can make focus macros for any of your big abilities, whether it's like um, if you're a mage, I mean, you got G pies, you can use pyroblast. I mean, there's so many complications of way to do it. Uh, just know it's for like hard swaps, right? That's what essentially it is. You can say it's like, oh, they hard swap me or whatever. I mean, that's what. That's what they're doing there. They have like, they can have focus macros to potentially throw someone off, right? That's just like another level of trying to win the game. I mean, that's, it looks like you're going them, they're targeting you and they see your tar uh, you're targeting them, but they can't see your focus target and you just dump all your damage into the, your focus target and they don't expect it. <laughs> like, it's kind of cool. Um, higher level plays, I mean, higher level of ra uh, rating, I mean, uh, they can kind of expect it just because of game knowledge and experience. But the lower end brackets, I mean, yeah, you can throw people off. It's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, this one in prison, it's just my focus in prison. Um, I have two in prisons, key bound, main target again, and my focus target down here. And this one's kind of cool because I'll talk about like a demon hunter example, right? I mean, you can... 
let's say I'm going, I'm going the DPS, right? Say I'm going to Shadow Priest and the healer is a Druid, right? I'm attacking the Shadow Priest. I'm doing all my damage. Um, I go through his fade. I go through his disperse. The Druid's still struggling, whatever. And he still, the tr his Druid still has his trinket. Not He still hasn't used his trinket yet, right? So <laughs> one way to really get a um to get them to use their trinket, you can get their you can get their partner like really low, right? Say like twenty percent, and you have instant. It's a, it's equivalent if if you have it talented too. It's equivalent to a druid cyclone. It's the same thing as a druid cyclone. It's just instant. If you played feral druid and cataclysm, and you had instant cyclones, it's pretty much like that. Um, yeah, I mean you got twenty yard range. And you cyclone the healer, right? When their when their teammate is like at twenty percent, yeah, you'll get a trinket right away, or you'll get bubble from a holy palette, and you'll get it's kind of cool. Um, that's why I like it. I mean, obviously, it has its uh, general use, like any other focus macro. So that way, you don't have to untarget, retarget something, right, in order to cast the spell. But as you again, like, get better and stuff. Uh, that's essentially what I use it for, and it's really cool. I like it. Um, these other ones, they're more purges. Uh, these particular, uh, let's say, in case you didn't know, a little fun fact. This is like some cool stuff here. If your teammate gets mind controlled by a priest, if you have a purge ability, right? Like a demon hunter, if you're a blood elf, um, if you're a priest... Um, if you're a shaman, you can purge. You can pur. You can pur. If your teammate gets mind controlled, you can target your teammate, and you can press purge, right? And it gets rid of mind control, right? So I made this like the other day, and what it does is, let's say my teammate is mind controlled, right? And I'm doing my thing. I don't want to target them and then press it, right? I just press my keybind for the purge to use it on them and it gets rid of the purge. So it's it gets them out of CC. It's huge. Um, and that, again, like that second tenth of a second it takes to untarget, retarget usability. I mean, you can win the game, right? That's, again, the small window that you're trying to utilize the best to your advantage, right? I mean, that's how you win the game, like in small windows. Like randomly, is it like, Arena, all it is is a lot of variables, right? And sometimes the variables just happen to line up and add up in your favor and you don't even realize it. And you have like a tiny window to win. And having this type of macro like can totally win the game for you, right? Because it you're reacting like so fast and you're getting your abilities out so fast that uh, it's one right after the other and it's just clean and smooth. So that's like another one. Um, I got one for my party one and party two. So whoever I need to use it on. So technically I got I have what? I have four. I got one here for my main target. My main target. I got one for my focus target, shift F. Shift G is my party one, and D is my um party two. I'm still getting used to those. I just added those. Um yeah, I mean it just makes you that much better of a demon hunter and this last one soul barrier i think that was honestly i think i used using this for torghast i think it's for vengeance i want to say this is like a vengeance ability um but that's it i mean these are the macros for demon hunter there's not a whole lot there will be a whole lot if you're using like arena one two three um i don't have focus targets i don't have focus macros for like throw glaive or um I just don't. I mean, I got two throw glaives on here. And the only reason I have two throw glaives on here is because um, when I was getting used, when the new Chaotic Imprint talent came out, I really wasn't used to using throw glaive that much. So now, I mean, I just had it both there in case I forgot my keybind. I can just I have like a backup one, right? That's the only reason I have two. Um, to be honest, I should probably remove it. I usually use this one over here. I use T. This is T uh, keybound T. I can, yeah, I'll just move stuff around. I mean, I don't, it is what it is. I, it's still cool. <laughs> like, But let's just recap real quick. This has been a really long video. Um, focus macros, target equals, 
Um, you got cancel aura, and you also have stop casting. Where is it? Here it is. Stop casting macros. Um, I can make an entirely different video on that though. But what I will do for now, like right now, is I'm gonna pin the comment. The, I'm gonna pin in a comment on this video the form like this macro right here, right? That way you get the raw format and you can copy and paste it into WoW, the World of Warcraft, into your macros. Um, all you'll have to do is change the name of the ability. That's what you'll have to do. So whatever you're trying to make a focus macro for. Um, fun fact too, you can change the word focus to like your character name, to um, party one, party two, like I have here, party one, party two. Um, that way you can target your enemy teams as well without having to target them physically, right? Like actually click on them or tab them or whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're making a focus macro, you have to have target equals focus. Um, if you're trying to target yourself, use an ability on yourself, you have to have target equals. If you're trying to target your party member, it has to be party one, party two. Party one, party two always changes um, for whatever reason, <laughs> like, Whenever you're in a group, uh, just got to remember who's one, who's two. Um, but you get the hang of it after enough games, to be honest. It's it's confusing, I swear, like as soon as you start. But you play some games, I mean, you just kind of get the hang of it. And your gameplay, you'll notice if you get the, if you get these focus macros down, whether it's a demon hunter, whether it's whatever class, um, you'll notice that your gameplay is going to get a lot smoother and you'll develop the muscle memory. And when you develop the muscle memory, then you'll be able to work on your awareness in the arena. And when you work on the awareness in the arena, that's when you can start to spot like more win conditions because you're focusing on winning rather than like trying to get your abilities off and using them correctly, right? I mean, um, that's the name of the game. That's how it works. Uh, hopefully this video helped. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Um, I'm just going to title this video just general macro demon hunter macros and general macro rules. If you guys got any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will give you guys a thorough response. I stream every night on here on YouTube. Um, I stream my demon hunter, my main demon hunter. Um, I got a whole bunch of different classes. I got a mage. I got a holy paladin. Um, I got an unholy death knight that I just leveled. Uh, I'm gearing him right now. So if you're checking out this video and I'm live, I'm most likely playing my death knight. Uh, I'm trying to get the hang of my death knight, but uh, you can ask me any questions. I got I got like eight, nine different classes. I even play. I don't play warlock right now. I played war. I've played warlock in the past, and uh, I have a whole bunch of macros on that too. Um, I'll probably make like a paste bin or something like that too, so that way you guys can like see what the hell's going on. But otherwise, I mean, that's all I got for now. Hopefully, you guys liked the video. It's a really long video, and uh, go feel free to skip around, check it out. Uh, subscribe, like the video, check me out on my, uh, on my stream when I'm live. I stream right here on YouTube and, uh, that's all I got. So I'll catch you guys later. See ya.